Hey everyone, this is Canopus from Hack the Box. I want to welcome you all to our Global Cyber Skills Benchmark CTF of 2025, dubbed Operation Blackout. Today, in our workshop, we're going to be taking a look at the challenge from last year's business CTF called Mitigation. This was quite a fun challenge to create, actually, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. So let's get to it. The description reads, having now gathered all the intelligence, you are now making the final preparations to attack the bot. You connect back to your server to review some important evidence one last time. However, as soon as you connect, you discover things are in complete disorder. You check the root directory and you find root backdoor.log, clearly evidence of an active backdoor. Eliminate the backdoor in order to continue with your plans. A new line is added to the log file approximately every minute and we shall connect to the server using SSH and root tour as credentials. So let's SSH. There's the log file and the backdoor is still active and a time, stamp, a time difference of about one minute. Firstly, let's uh, check out what kind of uh, distro are we working with here. We have a Debian 12 bookworm. All right, so how do we begin? Well, we know that something checks the machine approximately every minute or so to to gather the status of the backdoor. We don't know if this something is something local or something remote, but what we could do to figure out its behavior is to monitor the executions of the prog the execution of programs and kind of see how does the checker what does the checker do? We could do this using a tool called PSPY. I have it here in my props directory. And let's copy it over. Let's make it executable. And let's check out what options do we have. We should record the parent PIDs as well. And also, let's set the interval to 1. Immediately, we can see some pretty strange things going on. The first thing that catches our eye is this line right here, which something is being read from our temp directory and then later executed. This is strange on its own, but the strangest thing about it is the parent process, which is an SSH connection, or it has something to do with SSH, because the parent process of this one is, well, the SSH server. Speaking of which, let's create an SSH connection with PSPY open to check out how does SSHing into the machine look like. Oh, there it goes again. Let's wait for it to finish. There's our SSH connection being accepted. And we see that there's some environment variable setting going on, something about the message of the day, and then we are dropped into bash. So this is what a legit SSH connection looks like, and this is what the attacker is doing. So it's it has something to do with SSHD. Now, around the time we did business CTF last year, it was 
big in the news, the infamous XZ backdoor or the Libel ZMA backdoor. Essentially, some obfuscated code made its way, some malicious obfuscated code made its way into the XZ upstream and that directly led to the SSH server of some distros being compromised because of the way some distros build SSH. Um, the malicious libel ZMA libraries are versions 5.6.0 and 5.6.1, which we can see if we do dpkg or dpackage dash l to list and then grab lzma and indeed we have version 5.6.1 so how does this affect ssh well if we list the the libraries that sshd links against we see that SSH links against libelzma. So since libelzma is compromised, then effectively SSH is as well. On the contrary, on non-Debian-based systems like Arch, by the way, if we list the libraries of SSHD, we see no mention of libelzma. So Arch users were pretty much safe. In any case, the way the backdoor works is the attacker constructs a specially crafted package and if certain criteria are met and also the packet is encrypted and signed by the attacker's private key, then it goes ahead and decrypts it, the, the malicious code decrypts the packet and then executes the bundled command. Now, how can we confirm infection in a more concrete way? The original article in OpenWall contained a detect.sh script which is basically, it basically scans the existence of a function signature in the libelzma library, in the installed libelzma shared object. Um, but it uses hexstamp and hexstamp is not available on the provided machine we gave to players. So players could use an alternative, which is Bitdefender's XZ scanner, which pretty much does the same thing. So let's copy it over. And let's run it. And indeed, our shared object of libLZMA is infected. And just for good measure, uh, let's check out what is being run by the attacker. We see a post request being constructed with contents with the contents of our Etsy shadow, and then everything is being uploaded into this endpoint right here. So how do we fix this? Well, the only correct way and the only way that hopefully it will give you the flag is to just upgrade the package, which is the most correct way to do it. The only correct way to do it, which is basically just downgrading the package because the updated version of Debian is just a rolled back uh, version that doesn't contain the backdoor. 
Um, during the competition last year, we've seen some really interesting unorthodox and wrong ways that some players approach the, the problem. We've seen some players that backdoored Libel GMA with their own public keys. So the checker, in, in thinking that the checker wouldn't uh, be able to, to check. Um, we've seen uh, other players that removed SSH entirely in hopes that nothing, something would happen. I don't know. And to top it all off, we've seen players that just downright removed SH. So almost turning the box into a, a rootless uh, box. All the, all the approaches uh, were wrong because no approach actually fixes the problem, which is uh, removing the compromised package. And obviously none of them would give them the flag. So let's copy over our updated package or the downgraded package, should I say. And then let's use the package again with dash i to install. Indeed, we are downgrading, but we are fixing the issue. We are removing the back door and let's give it a couple of minutes for the checker to run. I could have done it with uh, piece by open, um, but I wanted to just plainly broadcast the message without any momentary spoilers. So we have a broadcast message from somewhere that tells us tells us that the backdoor has been eliminated and that we should check the root directory. We see a flag.txt and the flag reads OXZ we found the backdoor. Now some of you may have noticed that we have an Ubuntu kernel, but we have a Debian distro. This is because we are in a Docker container, and this, this was the only way to facilitate a kind of bulletproof checker, uh, for example so players ssh into this environment which is completely clean and they cannot tamper with the checker outside of it the check this environment sits in a vm and the checker has full authority over how to conduct the the checks and is also invisible to the end user as well so this was the challenge I hope you learned something from this workshop. I hope you enjoyed the challenge last year and also hopefully you'll enjoy the challenges we created for this year. Thank you all for watching. I've been Canopus and I will catch you again on the next one.